I feel like I'm always like a big finish away from getting back to the big show, so we'll see. I don't put any pressure on that, but it'll be cool. Hello everyone, Christopher De Santiago with MMA Islander. Today we're joined by Tuco himself, George Tocos, ahead of Fury FC 86. He takes on Myron Dennis. Tuco, how's it going today? Good man, good. Made the weight, rehydrated, just ready to scrap tomorrow. How's everything been in Dallas? What's the overall fight week vibe for you? I like it, man. I've been to Texas before. I love the state. Um, never been to Dallas before. I do hate the Cowgirls, the football team. <laughs> But uh, other than that, the people are great, and being downtown is pretty cool. Uh, did you bring that Michael Vick jersey? No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I can't wear that here, man. They'll shoot me before I get to the cage. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome, man. You know, you're back here fighting for Fury FC. Yeah. You went 2-0 and in the promotion a few years back. You're back. Uh, what, what's it like to be fighting under this banner? I mean, it's a great promotion. I think, like, the owner, Eric, the matchmaker, Rich, like, they're great guys. They're putting on a great show. I was reading that uh, Fury's overtaken LFA, I think, as the number one regional in the US, which is great. I'm a little bit butthurt though, Chris. Like, I, my last fight for this promotion, I was the champ, I was the main event. And then I come here now and I'm like, one of the first fights on the main card, I'm in the blue corner. I was like, what did I do to you guys, man? But uh, other than that, it's a great show and uh, they're doing a great job. Uh, you know, it's Battle of the Beards, you versus Myron Dennis. Yeah. Uh, who's got the better beard in this one? Do you know what? I think on this day, he has the better beard because I shaved mine down like a few weeks ago. But if I left it and I had my full beard, there's no one that can compete, Chris. I'm and one. stylistically, you know, MMA rules, not beard rules. Uh, <laughs> how does this fight play out? Um, I mean, he's a vet. He's a tough guy. He's very durable. He's only been finished by the best of the best, like guys who are now in the UFC. Um, but I have to say, like, he has maybe almost three times the amount of fights I have. And we have the same amount of knockouts. I know he has a, a kickboxing pedigree, but um, like you said, it's MMA, and I don't think he can hang with me if it goes to the ground. So we'll see. I can strike with him, but he can't grapple with me, and I think that's the key factor. Does this uh, fight go to distance? I don't know. Like I said, he's durable, so I train for three rounds, and I expect to fight for 15 minutes. But if I can get him out of there, I get him out of there. Mm -hmm. You're, uh, you know, you're riding a two-fight win streak. What mm -hmm. are the implications of a win uh, tomorrow night in Dallas? So... I actually bumped into Mick Maynard when I was in Vegas, uh, December 16th, um, for that big pay-per-view. And he's the one who said to me, he was with Eric who owns Fury. And he was like, he said to me in the elevator, what's going on with you, man? Stay active. And he told Eric like, Hey, put him on. And I was like, okay, let's go. And then, uh, they gave me this fight. So I don't know. I feel like I'm always like a big finish away from getting back to the big show. So we'll see. I don't put any pressure on it, but it'll be cool.